right, this is the replay of um, playing Storm. I forgot to save it in real time. But it was a pretty good, pretty good match. I don't know how to make it any slower. This is like flying right now. But it, I guess it's okay. You get the point. Uh, it was pretty good. It was, uh, you know, Eureka could tell. Uh, I was lucky enough two games in a row to get the ley line of Sanctities out. And, um, he seemed to be pretty good uh, against the Stormwinds. Game one, he uh, tendrils, me, tendrils me out. Um, this game, I try to set up my uh, show and tell. It's an Emrakul, and Emrakul's a good creature. Yep, and that was, uh, this game, uh, was a concession to the Emrakul, and we can play the other one over here. This game was a little bit more fun for me. I had a, a mulligan, but uh, not the ley line. Ley line seems to be uh, very effective here. I was also lucky to have a you know a force of will plus one card. To prevent from going off, like you, you just feel like you've died any time to uh, the epic storm. And Bryant Cook is probably one of the better players, or he's like the creator of the deck, so I can get better than him. Debated doing that force of will there for a while on the echoing truths, which paid off because it kept me alive a turn. And uh, over here I have uh, the plan is to show and tell him the Grizzle Brand. Uh, he, he ends up going off here with uh, an empty. Well, luckily enough, it wasn't like a lethal amount. And having the Grizzle Brand is a is a nice play. You know, block gain life. Show and tell in uh, the Grizzle Brand. And then come the Gobbles. A lot of Goblins here. But here I am. Um, I get to do what the deck wants to do and just go off with a Eureka. Uh, I found an Elish Norn, another Grizzle Brand Omniscient, so we're just good to go at this point. Pretty safe. Yeah. Sorry, Brian. You're a nice guy. I always talk to you at Pro Tours and stuff, uh, or GPs. Um, but yeah, Elish Norn doing work. Eureka Tell.